Yeah, is there a, you guys have a weapons lockbox up here? Not that I'm aware of. I know over in, in the sheriff's office, um, the building behind us, they do. Okay. Um, if, if there's no weapons on, you're supposed to have a lockbox out here or a designated official to take a weapon. Yeah, they do. In the building next to the sheriff's No, it has to be in the same building. RCW 9.41.3. I'm going to videotape your encounter with him because he wants an encounter. Did you said someone's had a weapon in the building? Yeah. I said, where's the lockbox? Sheriff's department. Okay, sure. Isn't that a separate building? <laughs> Do we have a competition going? <laughs> You're the one who got engaged in the conversation. Um, is there a uh, lockbox in here? No. Okay. RCW 9.41.3, I believe it is, says that there has to be a lockbox or a designated official within the building to take the weapon. Or you can put it back in your vehicle, and it's just problems across the way. Okay, but the, another building doesn't count. And all I'm, the reason I bring this up is because you guys have this sign here. Is, and as I understand it, there should be a box or something here where we can secure our weapon before going in. You shouldn't have your weapon in the court to begin with. Say again? You shouldn't have a weapon in the courthouse to begin with. Which is why you're supposed to have a lockbox. Which is why you don't bring it in the building. See this number with. here? 9.41.3. Have you read this? 9.41.3. That's the RCW? Absolutely no weapons allowed. Have you read that RCW? Have you absolutely no weapons allowed in this building whatsoever? Out. Sir? 911. Should the problem have you removed? What's your name? David Beck. Okay. How are we doing, sir? I'm doing all right, Mr. Stein. Good. Now, yeah. did you say you had a weapon on you? Please Courthouse? release my hand. Hang on a second. Did you say you had a weapon on you? Please release my hand, sir. Gentlemen? Yeah, so okay. No, I don't have a weapon. For, okay. I don't have a weapon. I'm going to check you to make sure. I'm just going to check you Do you have probable weapons. cause to believe yes, I, I have do. a weapon? Okay. Okay. If you want to hand that down or set it down, I don't care. Please. Can you take me? Please release my hand. Can you please put that down? Can, uh, can, can I hold it with this hand? Is that all right? No, because I need both your hands. All right. Well, let's put it right here. Hang on. Okay. Let me check something here. I'm not sure yes. what probable cause you have to believe I have okay. a weapon. Okay, put both your hands behind your back. I didn't know if you wanted the number for the... So, folks, yeah. I, I don't know what probable cause is. We're just going to cooperate here. Okay. But the issue we have is a constitutional... You have a weapon on you? I'm being patted down right now. Right, for a weapon. And there's no evidence whatsoever that I that I have a weapon. Oh, look, we have a, we have the military showing up here. Okay. They got this, they got a silencer on. They've got a weapon. Let me, let me point oh, the camera. Mm-hmm. Just spread your legs for me, please. My legs are spread. My legs are spread. Thank you. <laughs> well, we have, well, look at this. Three officers, because I asked for a lockbox, I have not even gone beyond the point okay. where it says no weapons allowed. Folks, my name is Gavin Sine. I'm running for United States Congress. And I'm running for Congress because we're losing our freedom. And I've taken stands like this long before I was running. This kind of stuff. we got militarized police units in here coming in. And groping me because okay, they Tyler. feel that I have Mr. a weapon. Tyler. You can wait a second. No, I can't. And I'm, I'm asking. Sir, you've already, you've already wasted my time. You question. Okay. You're not the sheriff. I want the sheriff here. Doesn't matter. Ma'am, would you call okay. the sheriff or should I call 911? We need to hold government accountable. We need to make sure that people are treated with respect. And as a citizen, I feel like that's my job. As someone who's running as a representative for my district, I really feel like that's my job. And I hope that we'll look to our sheriffs and our public officials and say, hey, this is your job. This shouldn't have had to happen. There should have been accountability. That's important. Liberty is important. Liberty is not the fringe. Liberty is the foundation. We don't need more politicians. We need more citizens and statesmen that are willing to stand up for liberty. Lockbox up here? Not that I'm aware of. I know over in, in the sheriff's office, um, the building behind us, they do. Okay. Um, if, if there's no weapons on, you're supposed to have a lockbox out here or a designated official to take a weapon. Yeah, they do. In the building next to the sheriff's No, it has to be in the same building. RCW 9.41.3. Okay. Make your point. Are you? Do you have someone? Are you an official in charge of that? No, I'm just trying to help you. Okay, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm just one. Okay, I'm, you do not have. You do not have permission to film me right now. Isn't this a public place? 
You do not have my permission to film me right now. Okay, but you're in a public place. You do not. That's okay. I don't need your permission, permission in a public place. Okay. Um, but if you're not an official, I don't have you don't have to interact with me. I'm just trying to. I, I just want to figure out how it works. I've never had to deal with it here before. Look, so you can come in here and film this and be a douchebag all you want. Okay. Okay. Your heart well, rate well, is racing. You've got this funny yeah. look on your face. Clearly, you're looking for a confrontation. You're videotaping me. You want. You seem to, a bit agitated. Are you you're okay? You're the one that's agitated. In fact, I'll, here, let me videotape you. Go, so please, do. Sure. Yeah. I didn't come in here for an encounter with you. Hey. No, but you came oh. in here. You, have, you must have an encounter. Are you, uh, what, who, who are you? Nobody. Okay, that's fine. Well, then I guess. I'm going to videotape your encounter with him because he wants an encounter. Did you said someone's had a weapon in the building? Yeah. I said, where's the lockbox? Sheriff's department. Okay, sure. Isn't that a separate building? <laughs> do we have a competition going? <laughs> You're the one who got engaged in the conversation. Um, is there a uh, lockbox in here? No. Okay. RCW 9.41.3, I believe it is, says that there has to be a lockbox or a designated official within the building to take the weapon. Or you can put it back in your vehicle and it shows problems across the way. Okay, but the, another building doesn't count. And all I'm, the reason I bring this up is because you guys have this sign here. Is, and as I understand it, there should be a box or something here where we can secure our weapon before going in. You shouldn't have your weapon in court to begin with. So again, you shouldn't have a weapon in the courthouse to begin with. Which is why you're supposed to have a lockbox. Which is why you don't bring in the village. See this number with. here? 9.41.3. Have you read this? 9.41.3. That's the RCW. Absolutely no weapons allowed. Have you read that RCW? Have you absolutely no weapons allowed in this building whatsoever? Out. Sir? 911. Should the problem have you removed? What's your name? David Beck. Okay. Are you uh, understanding of the constitutional laws with guns and that we have some courthouse exceptions which are arguable but let's let's say that those are fair um, are you aware that there's supposed to be a box within the building have you not studied the law yeah this is just a court security at a uh, grad tenant courthouse here in Afraida. I think an officer over here got a one person that doesn't want to leave the building with his weapon he's demanding a lockbox in this facility we told him it was in the sheriff department across the way he refuses to leave all right Who are you? Security. Okay, with who? Moon Security? Courthouse. So you're not actually an officer. We're with the court. Okay. We're at the front receptionist desk, second floor. Yeah. Folks, it's a dance of yeah, cameras here. Exactly this is Gavin Sign. And I just wanted to challenge our local courthouse to make sure that we have a designated lockbox to make it easy for people when they're coming in here. Under the RCW 9.4.1.3, there's supposed to be a designated lockbox or an official uh, within the same building. The problem is that the sheriff's building is, is way over there. And it's, uh, it's a little bit of a concern that we don't have a reasonable means to, uh, to put it in there. So we got a security guy who's calling the sheriff. And we got somebody over here who doesn't like it that I'm questioning the, the issue here. And, uh, I'm not sure if I'm you know, it's important as citizens that we, we exercise our civic authority. We want, to, we want to stay calm, but we want to start conversations. And we want to make sure that we're holding public officials accountable for individual issues. And especially when it comes to fundamental rights, we want to make sure that uh, the government remembers that they're working for us, that our representatives, they work for you. The representatives are the fry cooks, and we the people are the masters. We're in charge. What's your name, sir? What's yours? That, I don't need to ask, answer my name. You're the public servant here. What's your name? David. David? Okay, I'm Gavin. <laughs> Okay, now I actually came in here to get my tabs, so I'm going to go get my tabs, and you guys can do what you need to do. But I just want to encourage you guys to get a lockbox in here. That's, all, that's the only reason I brought this up, because I've, I've been talking to uh, different people about this, and I realize that we have this sign here, and fair enough, but there, all we need is a box here to lock our weapons up in, and we don't have to worry about it. It's the sheriff's office. But that's, that's way over there. Do you really? How, first of all, you've got to walk through the courthouse, so then you're in violation of the law. How do you expect us to secure our weapon over there? You can secure your vehicle. Okay, so we, ha we, we, we have to leave it in the vehicle then, even though the law doesn't say that. Oh, well, thank you. Have you read, have you read the law? Have you? 
Yes. I haven't read it word for word, but I've certainly gone over it and made sure. Do you want to look at it with me? I mean, do you want to be inf aware of the law? It doesn't matter now. Please draw the line. Okay. Do you want to be aware of the law? Do you care about the law that you're supposed to represent? Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Hmm? Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? I did when I was in the military. Okay, do you realize that the oath doesn't expire, right? What? Yes. You do? Okay, so does it concern you maybe a little bit? No. Nope. No? Hmm. Okay. That's, that's, that's odd. Um, you have no idea why there's no lockbox. Has this come up before? Hmm? Has this come up before, having a lockbox here? It's in the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office is another building, correct? It's in the building over there. Am I, am I correct on that? Across the way. Your right's here. Is that correct? Is that correct? No, you can walk through. It's just attention-seeking behavior. How are we doing? Now, let's see. I want it allowed. <clears throat> Contact the sheriff's office to secure your weapon. See, and I get what they're doing here, and if the sheriff's office was right here, that would be fine. But the fact that the sheriff's office is, is across in another building is a concern. So here's the deal, folks. We're at the Grant County Courthouse. They really take issue with the fact that I asked for a lockbox for my weapon at, at the entrance. Now, I haven't gone past the entrance. I just come here and ask if there's a person to hand my weapon to or a lockbox for that weapon. Now, there's various issues here because the Second Amendment says that the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So there's a concern with that. This is attention-seeking behavior. Huh. Instead of writing a letter, he's kind of being a douche. This guy, kind of funny. This guy is... Uh, Interesting. He's not, he apparently is not familiar with dealing with these kind of encounters. But um, this, this, this gentleman here is, is being pretty calm. But we, we need to address... I, I'm familiar the, with psychotic behavior and attention-seeking behavior, though, and people, rather than just sending a letter and being a human being, he has to you know, go out of his way to behave like this and seek attention for himself. How are you familiar so he's with that? Getting, he's getting his attention here. How are you familiar with that? Hi. Oh. I'll let you subpoena this. Right here. <laughs> How we doing, sir? I'm doing all right, Mr. Sain. Good. Now, hey. did you say you had a weapon on you? Please release my hand. hand. on a second. Did you say you had a weapon on you? Please release my hand, sir. Gentlemen? Yeah, so we, we have okay. No, I don't I'm have a check. weapon. Okay. I don't have a weapon. I'm going to check you to make sure. I'm just going to check you. Do you have probable cause to believe yes, I, I have do. a weapon? Okay. Okay. Do you want to hand that down or set it down? I don't care. Please. Can you take me? Please release my hand. Can you please put that down? Can, uh, can, can I hold it with this hand? Is that all right? No, because I need both your hands. All right. Well, let's put it right here. Hang on. Okay. Let me check something here. I'm not sure yes. what probable cause you have to believe I have okay. a weapon. Put both your hands behind your back. I didn't know if you wanted the number for the... So, folks, yeah. I, I don't know what probable cause is. We're just going to cooperate here. Okay. But the issue we have is a constitutional... You have a weapon on you? I'm being patted down right now. Right, for a weapon. And there's no evidence whatsoever that I, that I have a weapon. Bear a statement. Oh, look, we have, a, we have the military showing up here. Okay. They got, this, they got a silencer on. They've got a weapon. Let me... Let me pull the camera. Mm -hmm. Just try to do for me, please. My legs are spread. My legs are spread. Thank you. <laughs> well, look at this. Three officers, because I asked for a lockbox, I have not even gone beyond the point okay. where it says no weapons allowed. Folks, my name is Gavin Sine. I'm running for the United States Congress. And I'm running for Congress because we're losing our freedom. And I've taken stands like this long before I was running. This kind of stuff. We've got militarized police units in here coming in. And groping me because okay, they Tye. feel that I have Mr. a weapon. Tye. You can wait a second. No, I can't. And I'm, I'm asking. Sir, you've already, you've already wasted my time. You question. Okay. You're not the sheriff. I want the sheriff here. Doesn't matter. Ma'am, would you call okay. the sheriff or should I call 911? I've got police officers did, that don't belong you, in this courthouse. The sheriff should be the one that's up here. The sheriff should be the one that's up here. Get the sheriff up Mr. here. Mr. did you say you had a weapon on you? no. Refusing to answer questions? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't see any weapons on you. Are you here for a reason, sir? Would you get the sheriff up here? Call Tom Jones. Tell him Gavin Simes up here. Sir, you work for the Afraid of Police. This is Downey and Koch. 
Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Busher. Busher. And this is a moon security. So what's, what do you got there, an AR-15? So we have three police officers here. And here's the deal. This is the weird thing. I came in to renew my taps. I saw this sign, and I said, where is the weapons lockbox? Because there needs to be a weapons lockbox or an individual to take the weapon within this building. Okay? I got security here. Within a few minutes, we've got sirens outside. I've got three police officers. I'm not even beyond the point of the sign, folks, where there's a sign that says no weapons allowed. We need to get legal. We need to start holding these guys accountable to the law. And we need to start holding our public officials and treating people with respect. The idea that somebody can walk into a courthouse where they just saw this sign, they ask for a lockbox, and the police come and say they have probable cause, they start patting you down, it's, it's really astounding to me. Gentlemen, do you, you guys have weapons? What's, what's the exception for you guys having all these weapons in here? So... What do we got? Yeah. Wow. Is the sheriff coming or do I need to call? This is a sheriff's issue. This is not an afraid of police issue. They do not have jurisdiction here. The sheriff has jurisdiction. Yes, we do. That's within the city. Right. The sheriff supersedes you is what I'm saying. I mean, I realize within the city limits you do have a degree of jurisdiction. Okay, but this is the courthouse. The sheriff absolutely the supersedes sheriff you. Us when there's yeah, the sheriff should be up here dealing with this, not you guys. The sheriff, you guys have no authority over the sheriff. And this is the courthouse. He's right here. In fact, he's the one supposed to be contacted about securing a weapon. And that's all I came in and to ask is where to secure my weapon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I told you to go down to the sheriff's department. Didn't right. Are you, are you familiar with RCW 9.41.3? Did they send you down? Are there? you familiar with the law, Koch? They directed you down towards the sheriff's office. Do you know that the law says that it needs to be in the same building? The, the weapons lockbox or the person to take the weapon needs to be in the same building, which is actually really reasonable. It keeps us, the problem is, I mean, it's a, it's a far walk over here to the sheriff's office. Now you're putting people in a situation where they're breaking the law to walk through. So let's say I come in, I say, hey, where's the sheriff's office? They're going to say, go that way. Now somebody's in the courthouse past this sign with a weapon that, according to this, is illegal. You understand my problem with that? There should be a lockbox right up here, and then it's a real simple issue. We come in, we secure our weapons, we go out, we secure our weapons. You guys, are you guys familiar with the Second Amendment? I'm assuming you took an oath to the Constitution. Do you, do you understand why this stuff's important? Why these conversations are important? Okay. okay. Are we done? Do you, no, we're not. Do you understand why these conversations are important? Okay, here's a sheriff. Hello. You're with the sheriff's office, right? Hello, let me talk to you real quick. Okay. Now, the sheriff is who should be dealing with this stuff. We need to make sure that our sheriffs are constitutional. Everybody needs to be constitutional. Your representative, your police officers, your mayors. But you and we, the people, we need to have accountability in our police. And the sheriff, the sheriff shouldn't be letting this happen. The sheriff should be up here immediately telling these officers to get out of here and to stop threatening people. It's, it's remarkable to me. So let's, let's talk about the Second Amendment. Can you, can you tell me what the Second Amendment's for? I'm here to handle the call, and then I'm out of here. Yeah. Can you so tell me I what the Second things. Amendment's for? I got other things. You're looking a little nervous. Are you okay? I am. Okay. Can you tell me so what the Second you? Amendment? Of you're course. This is nerve-wracking. I, I agree. I mean, you know, we all deal with that. Can you tell me right. what the Second Amendment is, is like for? I, like I told you, I have other things to do. You know what? You know who you work for? You are work, we done you work with, for me. Are we done with, with your little You work for today? those of us. This is not a game. Do you know, liberty, hey, liberty's not a game. Let's not be disrespectful to people's liberty. All right? I came in here not looking for an encounter, simply wanting to know where the weapons lockbox was. And I turned on a camera well, because it seems like no, it, no, I didn't. I simply asked. Three officers responding code out here. Have you considered that maybe you guys went about it the wrong way? See, I just asked a question, and the reason the camera's on is because you guys turned it into an encounter. Okay. Are you with the sheriff's office? What's your name? Dave Delarosa. Dave, Gavin. nice to meet you. Why are these guys coming in when this is the sheriff's area here? Well, this, this, actually, this sign says contact the sheriff's office. Why am I getting afraid of police in here? Because. We have an agreement with them that they handle everything in their heart. Okay, but when your guys come in here and assault me, I, didn't, I wasn't here for that. Yeah, I realize that they just they just patted me down, but I don't I don't I don't know what the probable cause is because as far as I can see, there was no evidence. Basically, this guy here said he came in and asked for a weapons lockbox, and that's what I did. I came in, I asked where the lockbox or the person to take mm -hmm. my gun is. I am accosted by three officers. I've got sirens outside. I've got people calling me names. Who's calling you? people sitting around. I've got people acting like, treating like, I got these guys here 
treating me as if I'm a criminal because I come into a public courthouse, a public courthouse. Let me ask you this real quick. Um, I, uh, you, you want to sit outside and talk about we don't disturb everybody else here? No, I think you guys caused this incident in the courthouse. No, Let's, I didn't cause anything. I'm just, you want to talk to me something. Here's, okay, but here, here's my basic question. Why not have a lockbox up here? That's really just my basic question. Well, I guess I can ask the maintenance guy why they don't Okay, but that. here's the thing. As I understand the law, and it's possible that I'm mistaken, but I read through the law, uh, RCW 9.41.3 says that there needs to be a lockbox or a person to take the weapon within the building. The problem we have and this is why I asked the question, is that if they say, hey, go to the, sh if I come in and say, well, look at this and say, where's the sheriff's office? They're going to say, go through there. Now I'm in violation of your law, okay? The sheriff's office is in another building, which is outside the boundaries of the law as, as I understand. Have you read this? Okay. Isn't that correct? Mm -hmm. So well, you... Well, see, we, we, we provide... No, no, no. If you just... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay. Let me explain what we have. I, okay. I don't know why we don't have any up here or if we're required to have some up here, but I'll tell you that we do have lockboxes at the sheriff's office side. So right. I understand. Here's the concern. I mean, and I'm speaking okay. practically here. Cool. I, I run in, and I, I came in here to, to get tabs today. So, so, I came in here to get tabs. Okay. And I have to go... Either I have to break the law, this law here. Now, it's, a, it's, it's in question whether that's violating the Second Amendment, which is the supreme law. So that's what you guys are bound to uphold. And if anybody, including these officers here, are violating the Second Amendment, it's your obligation to intervene. But I have to either go through here or go all the way around. Basically, i got to go around, drop off a weapon, come all the way back around, get my tabs, and do it all over again. Now, people have things to do. Now, that's, I think that's a good reason why the law says it has to be within the building. There, if, if, if we're supposed to check our weapons, we're, we should be checking them at the door. What, what, was the, what was the reason for these guys to pat me down? Okay, well, do, do you think as the sheriff, maybe you should be holding them accountable? I know, but you work for the sheriff's office. You took an oath to the Constitution. So do you think that maybe you guys should be having a discussion with them on why they come in here with assault rifles and why they grab a hold of me, hold my arms behind my back, and pat me down? That's not a concern to you? I, I walked into the courthouse and asked a question. I didn't even go past the sign. Where's the sheriff? Get Tom up here. Is Tom working? I can, get, I can try to find out for you. See if, see if Tom's in the office. I want to talk to him. This should not be happening. So get, up, get on the radio, and let's see if he'll come up here. I will in a minute, okay? Okay, okay. Do you have something to add? I do. Okay. Can I get your name just so I know who Tom wants to talk to? Gavin. Gavin what? Yeah, just Gavin is fine for now. Gavin is fine. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hang out here then so I can figure it out. I, I will, I'll, yes, I'll go back there and talk to him if you want to go back there. That's fine. I mean, I don't, I'm not, my goal is not to be in the lobby making a scene. You just walk out. Oh, okay. You got to go down now. You know how they Okay. Get there, right? You lead the way. Okay, guys, this is getting uh, long. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I'll, do a, I'll start another one just in case something occurs. But we started a conversation. Hopefully, we'll get a lockbox or something up at the front. And it's, it's not belligerent. It's not rude to start conversations. Now, I'm pretty disturbed at the way that a huge deal was made out of this. They never even asked me if I had a weapon. And I had actually left the weapon outside and saw this sign and thought, you know, we need to, we need to bring this up. We need to talk about this. We need to hold government accountable. We need to make sure that people are treated with respect. And as a citizen, I feel like that's my job. As someone who's running as a representative for my district, I really feel like that's my job. And I hope that we'll look to our sheriffs and our public officials and say, hey, this is your job. This shouldn't have had to happen. There should have been accountability. That's important. Liberty is important. Liberty is not the fringe. Liberty is the foundation. We don't need more politicians. We need more citizens and statesmen that are willing to stand up for liberty.